guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new make sure to smash that subscribe button turn on those post notifications because today is going to be a great video it's another wedding video i really don't know what i just did in that intro i was being super awkward anyway if you guys don't know me my name is sydney mcgee but not for long i'm engaged to down forsyth so soon i'm gonna be sydney forsyth and i couldn't be more excited if you guys are new and haven't seen any of my videos i just got engaged three, two, three weeks ago. I don't know, time has been really weird recently. So I don't even know how long ago it's been. And if you're tired of wedding videos, don't worry, cause there's only like 80 more days until my wedding and then and then we're done with them. So you only have to suffer for about two and a half more months. <laughs> I enjoy them, so I'm gonna keep posting them. Also, low key plug, that really has nothing to do with this video. I've been making TikToks and um, yeah, go check it out. The name is Sid Forsyth on TikTok because they didn't have Sid McGee and I'm gonna have to change it soon anyway, so I just went ahead and changed it now. So today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about my bridal party, who's in it, why we chose them, what they're wearing, what my wedding colors are, what the style of the wedding is gonna be, all that good stuff. For our bridesmaids, starting with my maid of honor is Brittany Forsyth. That is Dallin's sister-in-law, which will soon be my sister-in-law, also, my best friend. I pretty much live at my fiance's house. She also lives here. We hang out every single day. She's my maid of honor. <laughs> then we have Hannah Bowman. She's my sister. She's my stepsister. That's why we have different last names if you're new. And then we have Ellie McGee, who is my cousin. As of a year ago, she married my cousin, so now she's my cousin. Okay, for some reason, this made it sound like it was incest, not incest. She was not my cousin. Dallas, my cousin, met her in Utah and then they got married, so now she is my cousin. Okay. I lived out in Utah when they were engaged and getting married, and we became really, really close, so she's a bridesmaid. And then we have Marin. I'm just gonna say Marin Forsyth, because she's getting married in like three weeks or something like that to Dallin's brother. So she's gonna be my sister-in-law too. Um, when I lived in Utah, we got kind of close, and we're probably gonna get even closer once she moves back here. Then we have Michaela McGee, who is my cousin. Me and her have always had that relationship where we don't talk to each other for like a few months and then I go up to visit her and we're like best friends. She is so funny, me and Don both love her and she's just a great addition because I know she'll just make me laugh on my wedding day and all the fun stuff. And then I have Pay 12, her name's Peyton, I call her Pay 12, long story. We've been best friends since I was like 14, I think. She has heard me talk about Dallin from when I had a crush on to him to when he finally started liking me back and everything in between. She's had a huge impact on our relationship as well. So shout out to her. Also fun fact about her is she has been a family friend for so long and then we finally put it together. We already knew that she was related to Dallin's family, but technically Peyton is my fiance's niece-in-law, which means that my friend is going to be my niece-in-law-in-law. Niece in law school. When I get married. <laughs> and then for our groomsmen, Dallin does not have a best man because, well, he doesn't really need one. The guys don't even do anything. So he just didn't do one. He has Benji Bowman, my brother, Niall Forsyth, his brother, Sterling Forsyth, his brother, Logan and Jordan McGee, my brothers, and Maverick McGee, my cousin. I like how for the girls, I like, explained why they're in the wedding, and then for the boys, I was just like, oh yeah, these are the boys. <laughs> Dallin chose them, so it's his deal. I don't really care. So if you guys don't know me, I have a really, really big family, so choosing our bridal party was a little bit difficult because we didn't want to offend anyone or exclude anyone or anything like that, but these are the people that we felt that we are the most closest to or that we just thought would be great additions to the wedding party. And to be quite frankly, we don't really care. I only wanted like two bridesmaids and two groomsmen, but that just doesn't work out because we have such big families. So we decided to just go with a nice even six and six. It'll look good in pictures. And really, <laughs> that's all they're there for is pictures. All they do is walk down the aisle, hold some flowers, take pictures with you, and that's pretty much it. Even at our like bachelor bachelorette parties, we're gonna have more than just my bridesmaids and grooms in there. So it doesn't even really matter who's in the wedding party. We just chose people and put them in. I don't know. So if people need advice, if you're getting married soon or one day when you get married and you need advice on who to choose for a bridal party, I watched a bunch of videos before just cause I wasn't sure out of all the people who to choose. And basically what I came up with is choose the people that have actually impacted and been involved in relationship and fully support everything that has happened between you two and support that you guys are getting married. Two, choose people who actually make you happy, make you laugh, make your wedding day less stressful. Three, don't choose anyone that's drama filled, anyone who's gonna make things complicated, difficult. 
aren't gonna agree with you, etc. It is your day. You are allowed to be a bridezilla. Don't be one, but you're kind of allowed to be one because it's your wedding and you only get to do it once. Um, and four, don't choose people that you aren't gonna be talking to in the next 10 years. So moving on to our next subject, what are the bridesmaids and groomsmen gonna be wearing? And I have a fun twist to it. I'm doing something that a lot of people aren't and I keep watching in like probably like a minute or two that'll be said of what it is. My wedding colors are black, burgundy, and dark green, like pine tree green, evergreen tree green, because those are really good winter colors and it's gonna be winter, it's gonna be cold. Not to mention that burgundy and black are my two absolute favorite colors. It's the beanie. <laughs> Always been my favorite colors. Oh, my nails too. So I was like, yeah, these are my wedding colors. And they're gonna look so good in the winter. I am so excited. My bridesmaids are all gonna be wearing black dresses. Um, personally, I do not care if they all match. That is more work for me to try to choose a dress and more drama because everyone's gonna be like, oh, that dress is not gonna be blah, 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 blah. So, guess what? Bridesmaids, you get to pick your own dress. And the ones that they have all sent me are super cute. And I kind of like it better because they all get to choose, like kind of still express themselves and they don't look so uniform. Because when I have been at Bridesmaids and we all have to wear the same dress, it's just not as fun because it's not my style at all. And I get that it's the bride's day, like I get it. I did not complain, honestly, didn't care. But also I went to a wedding where I was a bridesmaid and I got to wear whatever I wanted. And then I got to express myself a little bit more and feel more like myself. So that's really cool. They always pick their own dresses, but all black, long sleeved and long. Those are my only requirements. It's gonna be winter. I don't want anyone complaining about it being cold. So, that's the bridesmaids. The groomsmen, they are going to be wearing black suits or maybe just black button-ups with slacks, something like that. Just want them to wear black and then a long burgundy tie. I haven't decided if I'm just gonna send them a tie, like a cheap tie on Amazon to get, or if they should just get their own ties. But I'm worried because boys don't know what colors are and they'll probably get a red tie instead of a burgundy tie. So, I'm still... <laughs> Still thinking about that one. I don't even think Dallin's told them what to wear, so nope. they'll probably figure it out like the day of. And then this is the thing that's like unique and different from most weddings is the girls, instead of holding flowers, are going to be wearing corsages. The best idea I've ever had because anytime I've been a bridesmaid, I have lost my flowers, don't know where my flowers are, it's time for pictures, my flowers are somewhere else. I have to go drive to get them or I left them on someone's table and then a little kid took them or whatever. I just can never find the bouquet. Plus, it's more expensive to do bouquets than corsages. And every single picture that I saw of weddings where the bridesmaids wore corsages, I honestly liked better because the bride stuck out even more because she's the only one with a bouquet. And honestly, it just kind of makes more sense that the bridesmaids don't have bouquets. Like, they're not getting married. <laughs> being a girl and not having pockets is the worst and when you have to hold flowers and a bunch of other stuff it's just annoying one less thing to keep track of one less thing to hold one more thing to save money on i love the corsages i'm so so excited they're gonna be burgundy and maybe with a white flower also and some green on it with a burgundy like ribbon oh it's gonna be so cute my venue is basically a barn and it has stairs that go down to the aisle i'm so excited to do the venue walkthrough and i think that'll be coming in the next like two weeks it has a lot of wood and some cute lights and really cute getting ready rooms and it's just like a rustic modern vibe which is exactly what i wanted i love that i say my <laughs> Colors are burgundy and black. My wedding ring is black and my nails are burgundy. And so is my hat, so is my outfit. If you can't tell, it's my favorite colors. And honestly, that's all I have to say. So there's my like little um, wedding party video. I will be continuing to post wedding updates. And oh, any updates, these are the updates I have for you guys. If you haven't seen, I got my dress. It's getting altered right now, it'll be done in like three weeks. I got my, I officially got my venue, literally signed the contract for it today. I got my invitation proof, so I'll be sending out invitations this week. Chose my bridal party, chose my colors, chose my theme. Pretty much just time to start decorating. And I just wanna throw this in and hopefully this doesn't confuse people who aren't LDS, but I'm LDS and technically actually getting married in the temple the day before my reception, but I'm still having a ring ceremony and it'll look completely like a normal wedding, but I'm technically already gonna be married. So I'm actually getting married in Kansas City. But yeah, anyway, that is my wedding bridal party video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, and if you're new, yes, I'm 18 and I'm engaged and I'm getting married and I'm happy. Hey.